Hey everyone, my name's John, welcoming you to another episode of Games in 60 Minutes. This is the stream where I pick random games out of my backlog that I've never played before and I try them out for 60 minutes. So tonight our game is going to be a very old school game. Uh, it's called NetHack. Um, the full title says Vulture for NetHack. Vulture is a bit of a graphical overlay uh, that you can get for NetHack. So uh, I guess to maybe explain that a little better, um, NetHack is a game, it came out in 1987, and they still work on it to this day. It's it's kind of considered one of the classic roguelite games. And the, the actual game itself doesn't have any graphics. So if you actually play just plain old NetHack, it um it's it's just it's a purely text based game where uh you you imagine like you're kind of looking at a top down view of say a dungeon and you have various ascii characters for everything so it's um uh, and of course they, this this comes from the very i guess the the history of of these sort of roguelike games because these games all kind of came out this game came out in 87 but it it it, it was based on a fork of a game called hack it came out in 83 and these were based on the original games that came out in the 70s right and back then computers didn't you know you didn't really have graphics in games so much back then and so that's that's kind of there's there's a big history right behind these kind of games uh, some people don't do as well with just the ASCII graphics. It makes it a little hard. You, you know, it's it. You have to kind of work harder, I think, to immerse yourself. And so, for some of these games, they uh, people have come out with these sort of graphical overlays, right? These uh, these little the you know, and and kind of the idea is that instead of seeing these old characters, you actually get to have graphics. And so that's where the vulture part comes in. Is this is just kind of an add on that you can get for NetHack, and. Uh, and it and it and it will kind of let you play with with the graphics. Um, for those not familiar with roguelike games, you know they the the whole term roguelike comes from again there was a classic game called Rogue, um, and that kind of I guess you could say in a sense define the genre. But uh, it, you know it, you may have heard that term, but you know the idea is these games are they tend to be kind of considered unforgiving. Uh, they tend to be permadeath. You get like one chance. Uh, and then you die and you have to make a new character, right? So it's kind of, uh, um, you know, you see games now, they, they kind of call it hardcore difficulty. That's what kind of a lot of these roguelikes are. But the genre is modernized as well. So you see a lot of different takes on it. Um, you know, a lot of games, it's like you... Uh, a lot of the modern roguelikes, you'll die, say you die, uh, and you have to make a new character, but you'll still carry forward some of the previous progress you made, so the game gets easier as you go. Now, NetHack doesn't really fall into that category. NetHack, it, it's, you're always starting over, but, uh, you know, at the same time, I think the way, the way you have to look at it, what, what makes these games appealing is the fact that they... Yeah, it, they play different every time, right? That's that's sort of the thing. It's procedurally generated. It's like you, you know, you never. It's never. It's never the same game twice. And of course, you can make all kinds of different characters. They have all these different classes and things like that. So you know that that's kind of what what NetHack's about. So this, uh, you know, I'm I'm thinking this will be an interesting one. Um, I'm not. Oh, Achoo! gosh, gotta love being on live stream. My first ever sneeze on stream. <laughs> so, NetHack. So, uh, yeah, I, I completely lost my train of thought there. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I'm not really... No, that's true, Ark. You, you're, you're totally right. That That's the other thing is when you... It, it, it gets easier in the sense that you're not necessarily bringing forward progress, but you you learn how to play the game. You learn from your mistakes. You get a better sense of what to do and what not to do. Right. Those, you know, because there's a dose of strategy in it. There's also a lot of luck, but there's also definitely definitely some strategy there. So I don't know how this will go. Uh, I'm not super experienced in net hacks, so I fully expect to die possibly multiple times. So we're just going to kind of take it as it comes. Um, so on that note, let's uh, let us switch on over to the game and let's give it a try.
So, yeah, so just right off the bat, it wants to know your name. So we're going to, uh, let's see, let's make up, uh, I'm going to make Husnock. So Husnock is a character that I play in Pathfinder, and he is a barbarian, and he's always, he's always fun. So here it's giving the option, you can have it basically pick everything for you, uh, but I'm going to not do that, because um, I want to actually pick this stuff myself, right? So... Again, because I'm making Husnock, I have to play the Barbarian. Like, it's just, it's that's just how it has to be. Um, I'm kind of limited here on race, so I'm going to go with human. And we're going to go with male and uh, alignment. So we got neutral, got to be chaotic. That That's Husnock to a T. All right. Lately, your dreams have grown troubled. Oh, I'm too slow. <laughs> It doesn't matter too much. The the story, you know, story is not a major part of these things. <laughs> We're going after the amulet of Yendor. Make you rich if you got it. It is written in the Book of Set. After the creation, the cruel god Moloch rebelled against the authority of Marduk, the creator. Moloch, star, Moloch stole from Marduk the most powerful of all the artifacts of the gods, the amulet of Yendor. And he hid it in the dark cavities of Gehenna, the underworld where he now lurks and bides his time. Your god Set seeks to possess this amulet and with it to gain deserved descendants over the other gods. You, a newly trained plunder, have been heralded from birth as the instrument of set. You are destined to recover the amulet for your deity or die in the attempt. Your hour of destiny has come. Speaking of hour, let's fire up the timer here. For the sake of us all, go bravely with set. Okay. So again, this is so you do have mouse movement in this game, so you can technically move. You can't technically move around with the mouse, but it's still easier to use the keyboard. So I'm going to do that. Samurai can be a good starting class. So I tell you what, Ark, if I die as Husnock in the hour and I have to make another character, we will do... We'll do, we'll do Samurai next. So, I love that you have a cat. You have a cat pet that's hanging out with you. All right. But yeah, as you can see, so again, if you're playing regular NetHack, it's going to be a top-down view with ASCII characters, but this is giving you like an isometric view with some graphics, which aren't great, but, you know, it, it's... it's uh, it's not bad either, right? Like it, you know. It's. Uh, I think for some people, this probably makes all the makes all the difference. Samurai, Valkyrie, Barbarian, and Knight might be the simplest ones. So it sounds like you've got some experience in this arc. Did you? Uh, did you play this a decent bit when you were younger? So right now we're just going to kind of explore. So you've got like the whole fog of war. So as you explore, you'll kind of start to uncover the map. And I don't know if you can see it. It's really kind of hard to see because it's so small. But up here in the corner, you do actually have a little bit of a auto map, right? So this is a mini map that's kind of filling in as you as you explore. Um, all right. And so now the other thing I'll point out, everything you had. OK, so you've actually won it a few times. Yeah, got it. So you, you actually definitely have some experience then. So that's that's pretty cool. I've never I've never won this. I, I've played it before, but it's been ages and I don't remember anything about it. 
so I'm pretty much coming in like I'm a total noob, and that's okay. That's pretty much how I come into all these games, so that's that's part of the fun. Uh, thing to thing to point out: this everything is turn based, so uh, which which is good. So you it, it definitely encourages that strategic thinking. You don't have to. Uh, you can definitely you know monsters not aren't, aren't going to wander up on you and kill you if you're standing here. All right. So notice it says the door is closed, right? So, and you get your little text messages up here. So um, in this game, you don't auto open doors, right? So you have to use the open command. So you hit O and it's going to ask you in what direction, right? So you open the door and kind of make your way from there. All right. So here we're kind of doing some zigzags and it looks like nothing interesting here. So we're going to do a little bit of backtracking, and this looks like another door, so let's open this. It says, I hear bubbling water, so there's probably a fountain around here. So. This game has fountains that you can that you can drink from. Auto pickup might be on by default. Yeah, I think you're right, Ark. I do I do believe that is the case. Um, there are a whole a whole. Okay, auto pickup. Yeah, here we go. Auto pickup true. So if I were to... So for instance, I could come in here and set this uh, to false. That's weird. It's not actually letting me change it. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it, it updated. I just had to bring it back up to see the change in take effect, right? So now, now I have auto pickup turned off, which means I have to use the pickup command to pick up anything I run into. All right, so I've come across a boulder that I'm now pushing along. All right, we're gonna get around the boulder here. Let's go this way. Okay, so this door is locked, so we're gonna leave that one. Um, I'm sure with the right skills and equipment, you can pick locks, as I recall, but I'm a barbarian. I don't resort to such tactics. I smash things. Okay, so I've kind of filled in that bit of the hallway. Yeah, so notice here, right, now I'm hovering over the gold, but I don't automatically pick it up. So I think it's, uh, is it G for get? Oh, that was definitely not it. Whoa, what's going on? My gold moved. Okay, hang on. I have to, I have to consult my trusty cheat sheet here. Uh, see if I can figure out what the command is to get. Uh, but da 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 or pick up or something. What is it? Pick up, comma, is it? All right, this says it's comma. Okay, comma, comma for the win. Now again, being that this is, uh, being that this is graphical and, and mouse driven, I think you probably have some contextual options. Like if you write, yeah. So like if you right click, this is kind of cool. So if you aren't comfortable with like memorizing 9 million keyboard commands, there is some, it like, it doesn't give you every single command, but it definitely gives you like common commands that you can right click to get, which is, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah. Now as Ark points out, you can kick doors, right? If a door is locked, you can kick it, but bad bad things may happen and the thing is because most of these things are procedurally generated the reason i tend not to kick you know like usually what i do is i hold off and come back later because a lot of times the door may be locked but there's another way to get to the other side of the door just by exploring right so 
usually I like to explore everything first and then kind of fall back on where could where was it I wasn't able to go. All right, so all right, we got another closed door. Okay, and notice here now we've got a uh, a jackal. I've run into my first my first critter. So as I recall, I think I just wander into them and attack. So yeah, so I won I one shot at him. So that was pretty cool. Um, now the other thing I don't remember is um, I gotta remember the command for if I wanna if I wanna turn to advance but I don't wanna move. I think it's like wait maybe. Let's see here. Again, I'm consulting my trusty cheat sheet. Okay. Rest. Period. Okay, so let's try period. Oh, that's weird. The jackal vanished. I was not expecting that. Oh, oh, and he bit me. You little, you little bad jackal. Okay, I killed him in one. So. My, my mighty barbarian killing these guys in one blow. The kitten eats a jackal corpse. <laughs> All right, well, you, uh, you get down with yourself, kitten. All right, let us open this door. And now we're going this way. We're coming around, and we got some more gold. All right, so we're going to, I believe it's comma. We're gonna get that gold now. If you look here, this kind of looks like it. The, the, the graphics make this look like a blue tree, but this is actually a fountain, right? So you can drink from the fountain. And again, as I keep forgetting, you have uh, there are some contextual. Notice how the the cursor is turning into a fountain as I highlight over the fountain. It might be better to pick up the corpse and feed it to the kitty, or eat it yourself. Let's see here. Okay, so I have the option to drink. Now the thing is, this is always a crapshoot because you don't know what these fountains are gonna do. They might be something good, they might be something bad. It's always a little bit of a risk, but you know, let's have some fun with it. The fountain drives up. All right, so I've drank it. I don't really know what it did, but. Huh. I sink like a rock. Oh, I, pr I probably, I guess I didn't need to climb into the fountain. I have to remember that. I can probably drink from next to the fountain. All right, so I'm gonna go back. Let's go back and do I still, I was seeing if there was enough, I, I killed two jackals, but I don't, the cat ate one, but I don't see the other body. All right, so I guess it poofed, or the cat ate both. Okay, well that's fine. I'll keep I'll keep that in mind for the future that I can pick up and eat the what I kill. All right, so we're gonna go through here next and do a little bit more explorating. All right, so it looks like zigzag back here. So I think we filled in this whole little thing. Ah, but there's a little jut this way. Okay. Oh! An unexpected jackal. Alright. So there's two jackal corpses, so let's... We're gonna pick these up. Okay, and so now I'm a little... I'm a little heavy because I got two jackal corpses. So let's look at our inventory here. All right. All right, so I have eaten the jackal corpse and there does not seem to be any bad effects from it, so that's good. So we're going to pick up this money. 
this looks like some leather armor. So let's take a look here. I don't remember what I've got. So I have, I have ring mail, which is probably better than the armor. The, the thing you have to remember too about the things that you find in this game is that they're not, they're not automatically identified. So you don't know what they do. They, and if it's, uh, they could be cursed. And once you put on a cursed item, you can't take it off. Um, I think I'm just going to hang on to this now, but I don't think I'm going to try it on because I think my ring mail is probably better. All right, so I think I think I have filled in everything on this part of the map, but we still OK, so we've still got this this uh, door here that is oh, it's closed and locked and I don't remember let me come up here again oh I think I missed a potion up here look at this I a dark oh and there's a newt okay so let me I'm gonna kill the newt I am going to get the potion and uh all right I think the kitten got oh the kitten ate the corpse all right my efficient my efficient killer kitty. All right, so let's talk about potions for a minute. So from what I remember with potions, again, same thing. You don't know what the potions do, right? So it just says dark. Um, I think there are identification scrolls, things that will identify items for you, but I also recall they're not that common. The other thing is, is you can trial and error. You can just try drinking a potion and you'll and once you've tried one then you know what it does and if you come across another dark potion it'll then identify as what that potion does right so it's like you only have to try it once and then you like know what that is and the other part of it is it's random every game right so a dark potion in one game is going to do something different than a dark potion in another game right so they they that that's part of the randomization so every every game's kind of different so for now i'm just going to hang on to the potion I'm not really, I, I tend not to use the potions until I'm in some trouble because I mean, I'm fully healed. I don't really need anything right now. Oh, we got a jackal. All right. And he's dead. All right. So let's keep moving on here. Oh, see another jackal in the distance. Oh, and stairs down. All right, time to take on... Oh, the kitten tried to hit the jackal. I love it. Not only is my kitten... My, not only does my kitten wolf down corpses, my kitten will also fight with me. Okay. So I've killed the Jackal. I took one hit point of damage, but I'm still doing okay. Orcus Chainmail. Interesting. So that might be good. Ooh, and we got a... This looks like some kind of slime up here. Oh, a lichen. It's a lichen. All right. Well. Oh, the kitten took out the lichen for me. Well, thank you very much, kitty. Yeah, now notice th this up here, this is the door that was locked earlier. So you notice that I didn't actually need to, I didn't need to kick the door. I just ended up finding my way around it. Okay, dropping the jackal corpse. All right, so I'm going to take Ark's advice and we are going to drop, we are dropping the, the jackal corpse. I hear the footsteps of a guard on patrol. Okay, so I think I have... I'm pretty sure I've uncovered everything on this level. I don't think I left anything... Oh. I thought I could scroll the map without moving, so that was my bad.
That makes me sad. I want to scroll the map, but it doesn't look like I get that option. Okay, so let's head on down. I think we're, uh, I think we're good to, I think we're good to go down. All right, we got some stuff right off the bat, so let's look around here. All right, we're going to get the gold. We have a, another potion. And a box. All right. Apparently, I can loot the box. Let's see what we. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I can take something out, or put something in, or both. Let's take something out. Oh, so I got I got several things out of that box. So let's let's bring up the inventory and let's see what we got here. So we have a we have a mystery scroll and we've got some potions. I'm starting to get heavy, so I'm thinking that I'm gonna drop my uh, leather armor. I'm gonna hang on to this chainmail for now. But I'm not. Ah, clear potions are always okay. That, so that's good to know. So they're always water. So I guess if I'm if I'm getting dangerously thirsty, then I know that I will uh, I'll be good on that. Okay. I seem to have lost my cat. I'm a little, uh... I don't know if my... Hmm. Yeah, I don't see what happened to my cat. That makes me kind of sad. Now, maybe did the cat not follow me, I wonder? Let's, let me go up. And my cat is also not here. Oh, so my, okay, so you're saying my pet ran off because I didn't go downstairs when they were right next to them. So basically, my pet's lost. Okay. Well, I am sad. But I suppose that's a lesson to be learned. Okay. Oh, there's my cat. Yay, I found my cat. All right. So let's see then... I'm gonna... Okay, now, now Ark said something about walking the pet, so let's see... Ooh, I definitely don't want to do any of that. Walk the pet, let's take a look here. See that on my cheat sheet okay but right now the kitty is right next to me so i'm gonna see so if i go down now okay cool so yeah cat made it all right so we're good again i think now i laugh too because I think the cat went away again.
Now here's something else interesting. I don't seem to have anywhere to go right now. Like, there's the stairs up, right? Hello again, kitty. Yeah, so what's interesting about this is there is, right now, there is nowhere I can go. Ah, yes, yeah, so, so Ark is saying S is the search. So basically what this means is you can search for hidden stuff, right? Like, say, a uh, hidden door. Okay, and you can also search, so it, apparently it does also let you search uh, from the right-click menu. All right, let's try over here. Let's try over here. Ah! I, sorry, I kind of have to laugh at the whole notion of I had to search like 12 times to find the big giant door here. <laughs> Alright, we have an open door. We have... Oh, there was a newt that I didn't even see. And this looks like another lichen, so I'm going to move in here. And... Let's... Alright, the lichen is dead. There's some stairs down, and what? And this looks like another. All right, so I'm trying to. I want to avoid the mistake I made before and see if I can drink from the fountain. No, I do not want to drop. I want to drink. Let's see here. Drink. Q. Alright, so we're gonna Q. What do you want to drink? Oh, so that drinks something from your inventory, which actually I don't want to do. Wisp of vapor escapes the fountain. Okay. Whoa. I think I hit one of those fancy teleport traps. Or it had something to do with the wisp of vapor from the fountain. I'm not sure. But in any case, I am now in a totally different part of the map. And if you look up here at my auto map, you'll see that I'm like way over here, right, instead of the area where I just explored. So I think I'm gonna slowly backtrack, or see if I can backtrack at all. Oh, there's a monster behind that boulder, okay. So I'm going to see, instead of exploring this way, I'm going to try to head back and kind of fill in and see if I can get back to where I explored before so I have kind of a contiguous map. All right, so here's a big old room, and this is a, a statue of a lichen, okay? Okay, cool. So yeah, I'm about to, I think I'm about to uncover back to where, oh, interesting. So it's right up against the wall where I came in, but yet I can't go through it. There's no, no way through there. 
Oh, interesting. Okay, maybe th is this another search? All right, so there's a locked door. Oh, I found a door. I had to search, but I found a door here. And it's locked. <laughs> Yay, I'm reunited with my cat. Happy days. All right. Oh, I'm starting to get hungry. Okay, so... Actually, before I eat my ration, I'm going to see if I can kill something and eat something. I'll eat the ration if I get starving, but I'm going to otherwise try to save that. Okay, so I've hit the end of this and there's nothing. Oh, there's that. Po okay, here's the portal. I guess this is like a... The portal trap, untrap. You know of no traps here. Well, I know of a trap right there. I can't disable it, probably because I'm the wrong class. Alright, so we're just, we're just going to leave that. Let's go this way. Oh, look at this, a lichen corpse. Alright, let's see if I can eat the lichen corpse and if I'm going to have a real bad day from it or not. Alright, the lichen corpse tastes terrible. I imagine it does. But as far as I can tell, I'm not poisoned or anything. There's a question mark here. Now, this is interesting because when I was trying to push this from the other side, it was saying that there was a monster here. But I find it interesting that when I come from this direction, it's just a question mark. You attack thin air. Ah, there actually wasn't air there. So the, the, the thing about this is I just thought there was a monster there, but that monster was probably the lichen, and the lichen moved by the time I got back around. So that's probably what that was all about. Oop, killed a sewer rat. Ooh, a jackal. I guess I don't get a corpse. Yeah, interesting. There's no... He didn't drop a corpse. I guess they don't all do that. Another jackal. And another lack of... I'm, I'm wishing they would drop a corpse so I could eat it. And stave off the hunger a little bit. Okay. go this way. Now this looks interesting because we have another box. So let's loot the box. Oh, it's locked. And now I'm sad. Let's see what happens when the big meaty barbarian tries to force the lock. I succeeded. All right. Yes. We are going to take something out. A food ration. Okay. Now... I have my original uncursed food ration, so uh, you always start with this. And the whole point of uncursed, right, is it's it's been identified, so you know it's not cursed. Technically, this food ration could be cursed, 
you don't actually know, um, short of identifying it, which would be kind of a waste. So again, I'm not going to do anything right now. I'm just going to hang on to it. But if I start getting, if I start getting hungry, then I have another thing of food to fall back on. This is always nice. Let's let's check out this door. Oh, another fountain it looks like. Oh, and I'm getting hungry again. All right, so let's we're going to roll the dice here. Let's eat our unidentified food ration. Bleh, rotten food. Ugh. Okay. Well, we're gonna drop that. That wasn't good. See, so yeah, I'm 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 probably even hungrier now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing. It shows it here, right under where it says chaotic. So I am I am chaotic hungry. That sounds like the best role playing alignment ever. Chaotic hungry. All right, I'm going to eat. OK, I'm going to eat my good food ration just because after eating spoiled food, I don't want to risk. I did not feel like risking that an aluminum wand. All right, we're going to pick that up. And then let us drink from the fountain. This tepid water is tasteless. But it's going to keep me from getting thirsty, so... That part's good. Alright. So we're going to head up. All right, so we filled in that part of the map. Oh, now we got this way to go. Okay, and we filled in that. I didn't even actually realize this was a... This is one of the disadvantages with the isometric. It's sometimes a little hard to tell at certain angles, like what you're... Uh, if you're missing, like a, like a pathway. Okay, so I think I filled in everything there. Oh no! And just like that, I triggered a rolling boulder, boulder trap. Full health, 16 hit points, full health. I'm hit by a boulder and I'm dead. And that my friends is net hack. Death lingers at any moment due to bad luck. All right, possessions identified. Let's see what I had. I had an uncursed scroll of enchant armor, a potion of sickness, a potion of healing, gain ability, holy water, the clear potion, as uh, Ark pointed out, they're always water, a wand of probing. Oh, this was a blessed orcish chainmail. So that would have actually been kind of awesome had I put that on. All right. Well, that's it. Do I want to see my attributes? I was devoutly aligned. I was poison resistant. I was lucky. I, you know, I don't feel so lucky being dead. Just saying. I, I feel, I feel there was shenanigans. I, I mean, I triggered a boulder trap and I was instantly dead. That is the exact opposite of luck. An account of creatures vanquished a kitten. Are you saying I killed a kitten because the kitten died with me on the boulder trap? Because I didn't. I, I'm not a kitten killer. I'm just saying. Not a kitten killer. Eight jackals, a fox, a kobold, a sewer rat, a grid bug, two lightens, three newts. My conduct. I was an atheist because I never prayed. I was illiterate because I never read anything. 
You never genocided any monsters. You never polymorphed an object. You never changed forms. You used no wishes. All right. There I am. Oh, and it just kicks me out of the game. Like, wow. Just piss off. Okay, so I think I'm sure we, we, we definitely have some more time left. So let's, we're going to do another character and we're going to make a samurai. No, I'm going to pick. So we're going to pick samurai, female. Yeah, full random. Full random can definitely be fun too. Yes, I, I agree. Let's see what we got here. So we have a tame little dog called Hachi. I love it. I love it. A tin. Oh, I think I have auto. I've got that auto pickup thing going on. Yeah, all right. I have nuked the auto pickup. I know, I'm 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 liking I'm liking this. I like having the puppy. And I like that the puppy has a name even, like Hachi. Oh, I got what's this little dude? Is this one is this a newt? This is a newt! And now he's a dead newt. Okay, so since we don't have as much time left, I am going to try and go a little bit faster. Play this a little less methodically. What is this that I'm looking at right here? An altar to Susan Owo. Okay, so I think you can pray at altars. Let's see what happens. We're going to pray. Why not? The voice of Amaras, you are so, thou art arrogant mortal. You must le learn my thy lessons. Oh, okay. I think I was not. I probably shouldn't have skipped the intro. That probably would have gave me a hint about my God. Yeah, wrong God. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Well. I'm gonna have to live with my foolishness, that's fine. I done messed up. An Asaku. Oh, I got things to kill. What is an Asaku? Okay, so something I... It's a tool. I seriously don't remember what an Osaku is. I am... I am failing here. Okay, so I think it's like clothing maybe. Let's... Can I wear it? I don't have anything else to wear. Okay. All right, this time I got a newt corpse. I'm gonna eat. Can I eat the newt corpse? It's rotten. Ugh. Oh, and now I'm blind. I'm having the worst luck. Dude, I'm having the worst luck right now. Okay, I'm unblind, so that's good. Okay, see, so you said I can try turning the altar.
Okay. Okay. Got it. That's like advanced. I'm fe I feel like that's a little bit advanced uh, net hack. Ooh, goblin. Thank you, dog. An orcish helm. All right. Now, I think I may take a chance and wear this just because, A, I don't have a helm, and B, I'm already having all the bad luck, right? So may as well go all in. Okay, so it's a plush zero orcish helm. So it looks like I did okay. I think I managed not to get cursed. Genuinely surprised. Let's keep looking around. All right, we're gonna pick up this potion. You know, I'm gonna have a little fun here. I'm, not, I'm again, we don't have as much time, so I'm not gonna play as conservatively. Let's drink the potion. All of a sudden, you can't see yourself. Okay, so that must have been an invisibility potion. So that's pretty cool. Not sure how long it lasts. Sadly, I feel like it's going to waste a little bit because I'm just kind of... I don't really have anywhere to go at the moment. Alright, so I think I've explored, as best I can tell, I've explored everything obvious. Okay, that's got a boulder in the way. Maybe something in here? I'm not finding anything. Oh, got another lichen. Nice! The, the, the sewer rat strikes at thin air, I love it. So, that's, that's kind of what it's like when you're trying to, uh... Whoa, what happened? Oh, I got killed by a sewer rat. There's another sewer rat, and I'm already dead. <laughs> Alright, so... I was invisible, I was fast, I was unlucky. I agree with that. My god was angry with me, and I'm dead. Uh, I killed very little. My conduct, I was illiterate, didn't genocide, never changed form, blah, blah, blah. Alright. Pretty embarrassing. Pretty, pretty embarrassing. Alright, well, we still have some time since I did so poorly, so... We are going to play something random. Oh, is Tourist actually a class you can pick? Let's see, what did I get? I am a lawful male human knight. And, uh, it looks like my, oh, I have a tame saddled pony. Nice. All right, I'm gonna turn off the auto pickup again. And, we'll see if, uh, We'll see if I do any better this time. I feel like that last game was just cursed. Like, I just immediately got off to the wrong start, and that was... It, it just... It never got... It never got any better. I can jump. type of period when you're in the right place. Illegal move. Okay, so... Okay. I'm a little confused. All 
I'm trying to jump. Oh, like a chess knight, really? Oh, of course. Okay. Now, so when you jump, okay, so when you move as a knight, that means you go one over and two up. You cannot see. Okay, so you have to see. I guess my pony's blocking me. Let's try this again. J okay, so we're going to jump one over and two. Well, that's weird. Maybe it's just because the lighting sucks. Oh, just killed a kobold. All right, let's try in here where it's well lit. Okay, so we're gonna try and jump, and we're gonna go. So we're gonna so we're gonna go one over and two up. Oh, and sure enough, there it is. I jumped. Yeah, the lighting exactly. So now that I'm in this room that's well lit, I can see. I just mounted the saddle pony. I love it. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna prance around the level here in our mounted pony. Nice. So I can, I can still open doors while mounted. I can pick up stuff while mounted. That's pretty cool. I killed the kobold that I never even saw. <laughs> okay, I picked up the kobold corpse. Here we go. Hey, I leveled up. Nice. I don't even know... You know, for all that time I spent in my first game, I don't remember leveling up. So, in some sense, I'm already doing better. Ooh, I hit a trap. And now I don't know what's going on. Oh, great. And now I'm getting bit. It misses... Okay, I killed something. So there's three somethings. I get zapped. It's probably grid bugs. All right. You feel here a fox core... Oh, I got, I got attacked by foxes. Interesting. Okay, I can see again. So that's good. These corpses taste like crap. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna... Okay. So I don't, I ate, I finished the fox corp. I get the feeling these apples and carrots are for the pony. I got to figure out, I got to figure out the command to feed my pony. Um. Yeah, because I can hit E to eat, but like... There's got to be a way... Hang on. 
extended commands. So it's not offer. See how. Uh, let me see, is there, is there a command for give? I just see offer. All right, what does G do? All right, I don't know what's going on. Uh, what else, what else? That's my chat history. So many commands. Alright, that's inventory. That is my map from an... Okay. That's kind of good to know. That's casting a spell, which I don't need. This is the extended commands. Which I did not see. Hmm. Okay. Okay, well. <laughs> the door is locked, but you can just walk right around it immediately. <laughs> Sometimes that's what's funny about the procedural generation. All right, so we found some stairs down, which, and, and honestly, it looks like it's pretty much just in time because I think I've, I think I've uncovered everything that's not in a secret somewhere. So I say, let's just go on down. We are going to go on down. And this is nice because I'm, because I'm mounted on the pony. I don't have to worry about, uh, losing the pony because I'm on it. All right. Food ration. What is this? This looks like a giant version of a lichen. What's this? A fungus or mold? This is a green mold. Okay. Well. I killed the green mold and I got splashed by acid, so now I'm hurt. Now I'm having a hard... I'm having a bad life. Do I have anything that's going to do anything for me? No. No. You know, I feel like if I'm prouncing around on my pony, I should have my lance <clears throat> enabled. So I'm going to do that. Sadly, I'm at half hit points, and I don't really know what... I don't really have any healing ability right now, so I think I'm just kind of hosed at the moment. Um, but it does look like I'm slowly healing, so that's good. Yeah, I'm slowly getting hit points back. It's like a, that's a yellow mold. All right, I'm gonna leave the mold alone for the time being, at least until I'm fully healed. Cause I didn't do, I got pretty hurt on that last one and that just seems like a good way to get dead. 
and he's not really messing with me, so, you know, no need to tempt fate just yet. Alright, we're gonna open this door. Fill in the hallways here. Don't need to go down just yet. Okay, that one's locked. Double locked doors. Okay. I will come back to that. Ooh, it's a gecko. I killed the gecko and I've leveled up to three. Yeah, sure enough. I already got around those locked doors, so that obviously wasn't a big deal. Alright, I have killed the newt. Filled in that little part of the map. We got some, uh... No, okay, so we have a gnome that drank a sky blue potion and turned invisible. This ought to be fun. I am probably gonna die here. Alright, that gnome's dead. I still have an invisible gnome somewhere. And I killed it. <laughs> a sling and Atlas. I'm not sure what those things are. Oh, I guess they're weapons. Give me, give me the things. Okay. So yeah, not doing too bad. Oh, more gnomes. This is like the gnome level, man. Killing all the gnomes. He drinks a ruby potion and seems more experienced. Now I'm level four. Nice, I'm just... Oh, now I got up. Oh, shoot. You little hobbit. All right, I'm going to come back for this stuff because you got a ranged weapon. That's not good. Hang yes, I am hanging. I am indeed hanging with the gnomes. Apparently, this is the level of gnomes. Oh, no. All right, time's up, but we're going to... Let's, let's play just a tiny bit longer and finish kind of exploring... We're going to go into reckless mode here. Let's let's see how quick and how far we can get before I'm dead. May as well have some fun with it, right? I got hit by a dart. Not nice. I don't even know where the dart came from. Oh, more gnomes. More gnomes. Ooh, got a gem. The dart hits the gnome, and I don't even know where the dart came from. I didn't fire a dart, but it killed the gnome for me, so thank you for that. Ooh, the gnome lord. And now I'm level five. I'm doing not so bad. I am doing not so bad at the moment. No, don't mess with my pony. Oh shoot, I don't know how to free my pony. No. Untrap. How do, uh... I don't know how to get off the monster. I guess I unride. Let's see. Ride. Stop riding. I rebalance my load movement. It's difficult. Now, can I untrap? Now, I... What? Just need to walk out of it. And I'm dead. 
So no, I will not still be playing three hours from now. Why? Because I was trapped in a bear trap. All right, let's see what we got. What, what did I end up with? Uh, had my lance, bunch of not very interesting weapons, an amber stone. Yeah, I didn't, you know, I didn't really end up with much loot, honestly. Nothing, nothing too <laughs> stressed. I died lawful stressed. <laughs> Attributes. I was fervently aligned, I could jump, I was lucky, and I'm dead. I did kill a decent bit of stuff. My conduct. Yeah, same, pretty much same as every other game. Alright. 957 points. That was, uh... Yeah. My, my best, uh, yeah, that was my best showing. All right. So that was, that was NetHack. One good thing about Knights is that they can get the Excalibur from Fountains. Oh, yeah, I bet that'd be nice if you ended up with it. I was doing pretty well till I hit that stupid bear trap. But um but yeah, I think this this was a good play session because I I you know, I I played like what was that? Four four I think I played four total games. One of them was like super quick, but you you kind of get a you got I think it was enough to get a good sense of like how every 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 playthrough is different, right? Every uh, it it it's never the same game, and that's why people play this. It's not it's not a game like if you if you're playing to win, and that's your sole motivation to play the game, then it's going to be super frustrating because you don't. It's it's next to impossible to win, right? You it, but if you just play to have fun and kind of take it in the spirit of, oh, let's see what happens this time, right? Then I think you end up having a lot, a lot more fun with it. So, and I'm sure that, uh, again, there's people that have played this so much more than I have. So I'm sure that there's a lot of, uh, I don't, I don't doubt that there's a lot of strategies out there, a lot of wikis and facts and things you can kind of look at, uh, you know, sort of improve your gameplay. But even what I, what I like, though, is that even really not knowing what I was doing, I mean, R kind of helped, helped me out a few times, but it it's still like it's still pretty easy to play, even if you don't know, like all the little commands or all the little sub things. It's like it wasn't it wasn't that hard. And because it's not a real time game, you have plenty of time to think about what you're doing. And so uh I think it's kind of nice it, in that regard. It, it's it's definitely a game that you can kind of take your time. I think I think it, it falls under that category of easy to learn, difficult to master. So, uh, but anyway, so on the subject of what's my verdict? So I'm I'm giving this I'm giving this a, the thumbs up. I liked it. Uh, I don't I don't think I'm gonna call this like I love the game, but it was fun. I would definitely spend more time in it. I would recommend it. You can get it for free, uh, but I do. I, I I think there's other graphical tool kits out there as well besides Vulture that you can use, and it would be interesting to see some of the different ones and see if there's any like what the differences are. But I thought I thought this wasn't too bad. Uh, it it does. I I do think it makes it a little bit easier to get into, and some people might might kind of appreciate that. So I I had fun with it. Definitely a fun little hour. I thought. Um, so on that note, um, my next stream will be Friday night, 9 p.m. Central Time, as always, my regular schedule. So this is a part of the stream where we need to figure out what what's my randomizer going to pick next. Underworld Ascendant. Oh, interesting. You know, this... Yeah, this should... This, uh, I've been meaning to play this one. 
Uh, so I'm going to pull up the store page for this, but I'll explain as I search for this. This is a more recent game. Um, this is a game that I kickstarted, um, and it's been out now, I think about, I don't know, a couple of years maybe. Um, and it, it's, it's, it's sort of a spiritual successor to the old, uh, Ultima Underworld games, um, which were kind of like, they, they were sort of like Ultima, but they were like 3d, you know, kind of like 3d dungeon games. And it doesn't, which it doesn't sound that exciting when I say it like that, but, um, you know, part of those Ultima games were actually highly regarded just because they were kind of the first, they, like you didn't have a lot of games that did what they did back in, in the day. So give me a sec. I'm going to switch over again and let's, uh, hold on. Let's find out. Is this the trailer? I'm trying to find the proper. Let's yeah, this looks like a proper trailer. So let's make sure I got the sound going. Every culture tells tales of descent into the underworld. Of heroes who overcome great challenge and return forever changed. Great challenge awaits. Be creative, adaptable. Ingenuity will take you far here. Will you be a warrior? A rogue who springs from the shadows? A mage skilled in runic magic? The options are endless. The choice is yours. Only the bold and able survive here. Adapt, evolve, ascend. Save life from death through cleverness. Rise. And uh, yeah, so that was Ultima. That was Underworld Ascendance. That's what we're going to be checking out next Friday, Friday night at 9 Central Time. So we'll see. I know it got pretty mixed reviews. Um, I think it was one of those games that it, it you know, it really kind of played up its roots in the Underworld, in the Ultima Underworld series. But I think this game kind of fell pretty short of that, at least looking at the reviews for it. And that's one reason I never got around to playing it, because it just kind of seemed like it was going to end up being a disappointment. But we will see. Maybe perhaps it ends up being a little bit better um, than the reviews give it credit for. I think sometimes games can be still be fun, even if they're not the best. So we'll 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 uh, we'll check that out Friday and see how it is. So just a reminder, anybody else out there listening, um, as always, my regular schedule is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 p.m. Uh, give me a follow on Twitch. That's always the best way to keep up with me. And you can always get those notifications when I go live. I will always stream on those regular streams, but I also will sometimes do some weekend bonus streams um, at random times. So hope to see you all Friday. I appreciate everybody joining me tonight. It was fun and, uh, hope to see you all again soon. All right. Good night, everyone.